Welcome back. Who wouldn't like to save a little money at the store, right? Well, right now on KC Live, some money-saving tips from Angelique Campbell, an extreme couponer and mom who's taken on couponing, well, kind of like a career. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You've been on Rachel Ray, extreme couponing. Yeah. You're like a coupon celebrity. Uh, no, not really. But <laughs> well, you know your coupons. Think so. My kids think so. <laughs> Isn't that great? When they they love us, right? Yeah, right? They're our biggest fans. Okay, how do we start for the the beginning the beginners? Okay, so a lot of people think they can just go out there and start doing it and figuring it out on their own. And honestly, you just need to find a good blog like my own, mm -hmm. or there's lots of other ones out there, and let us do the hard work where we find the deals, we tell you what coupons you need, how to use them, we break it down step by step, make it really easy. Dummy I like proof. that. I like dummy proof. Okay, yes. where are the best places to find coupons? Okay, so everyone thinks that it's just the Sunday paper and not everyone wants to spend two dollars every Sunday on a paper. Mm -hmm. Guess what? My favorite place is the internet. So I print okay. almost all of my coupons. I do get Sunday papers, don't get me wrong, but I end up using more printable coupons like these ones um, from places like coupons.com and bloggers like myself will tell you what the best coupons to print are and then how to use them. And save us time. And save you time. And then money, yes. which we love. Okay, <laughs> tell us some of the deals that you found in Kansas City right now, this week. Okay, so these are all things that you can get this week and these are all things you can get with printable coupons. So I got this pack of Huggies at Walgreens. Um, there's a printable coupon for $2 off. They $2 have, off, that's great. Okay, th they also have um, printable coupons I got a couple weeks ago for $3 off. That's what I used. Um, You're like, you back stocking. <laughs> but I ended up paying $2.49 a pack. $2.49. This is, retails wow. for $11.99. Because you used both coupons? Because I used one, the printable coupon, and then they had a store coupon. So I stacked the coupons, and then they had a promotion going and a sell. So it just wow. stack, you, stack, stack. Do you go in with a binder? Are I you, do. I have a, okay. my binder's about this thick, <laughs> and I'm not lying. I've bro I break a binder every three months, and I'm talking the biggest binder you can find. I break it every three months, putting coupons in it. You're hardcore. Okay, yes. let's move on to what okay. we have here. So um, all natural soda. This is Zevia. It's like, you know, it's actually really good. My kids love it. I don't let them drink soda, but on a barbecue or something, the closest thing they get is Zevia. Totally free at Whole Foods or Target this week with a printable coupon. Um, 25 cents for these Gerber baby foods. Free toothpaste. Who wants to pay for toothpaste? I never pay free. for toothpaste. Free at the Dollar Tree. Wow. Free. Okay. Okay, this actually, um, you can still get this week, but I got these last week. I made $5 by buying 10 of these. They They're paying me. you. They're yeah. paying you at the store. Okay, I have to ask you, what about stockpiling? Okay, love <laughs> the stockpile. Okay, I have a personal experience with stockpiling. I started it because couponing, you get more than you need. But, you know, my husband got injured last year mm -hmm. and wasn't able to work and got laid off. And I was pregnant and... And you had three kids. I had three kids already mm -hmm. and I got put on bed rest. And so what I did was I used my stockpile. And, you know, if we didn't have a stockpile, my kids would have been wiping the bottoms with leaves mm -hmm. because I had 40 rolls or 50 rolls, maybe 100 rolls. I have no idea. I don't <laughs> count them. I don't count them. But I had a lot of toilet paper. And you know what? I still have... I haven't bought toilet paper in a year. And that's okay because we can't wow. afford the toilet paper right now. And I already have it. And you already have it. I already so have it. So you believe in stockpiling. Stockpiling. I, now, that doesn't mean you need to have, like, quadrillion of everything. That you'll when never I, use in a lifetime. No. You'll use it. And I go through it. And when I'm not going to use what I have, I donate. That's so, great. That's a huge donation. Well, great advice, Angelique. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on the show. We love it.